everybody, we are building a 70s club today. Um, this, this episode is actually going to be about the rooftop of the club, which is more in bohemian style, because I was doing so much furnishing and the video would take too long, so I just divided it in two videos. And I think it's also better that way, because you can get rest from me talking and then see the actual 70s club. Okay, so I had to skip some of that because I just took too long. I I didn't really like the idea of having a symmetric build. I never do anything symmetrical, but then I decided to stick with it because it looks more like monumental in a way. I don't know. Uh, you can see now I'm doing the entrance, which I hope looks at least a little bit like the Studio um, 54, like the, the black thing coming out of the building. Um, Oh man, I was really struggling with that, um, with that roof, um, I mean, floor, flooring, <laughs> I don't know, uh, yeah, <laughs> I took a long time for this, uh, although it's not that difficult. Okay, so here we can already see how it's gonna look like a little bit, now that some black color, I'm also very uh, confused about the blacks, um, I never find like a perfect black. I did find, I mean, those styles are black, but I would really want to have like a black paint. <laughs> I've never, I, I don't know if I'm missing something, but I don't have a black paint in here and I'm frustrated by it. Okay, so that's basically how it's gonna look like. And here we're already making the rooftop area. Uh, this wall is going to be like a little hidden. I mean, this wall, it looks like there are two floors from the outside. Oh, I'm sorry for skipping. I, I was just like, yeah. It looks like two floors from the outside, but in reality, there is a second floor, sure. But on the other part of the wall, uh, of the roof, there's like this rooftop garden. No, a rooftop hangout area, and it's a little bit hidden from the street because of that one wall there. Okay, so we chose the name of the club, which is not. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but I feel like those letters look the best. Um, okay, and now we are moving up, yeah, see, that's how it looks like, <laughs> okay, straight to the point, I really wanted to have a jacuzzi on this build, because I would say this is a 70s club, or like, 60s era, I don't know, and, you know, uh, things are allowed to happen here, <laughs> even though it's a public space, I mean, everything is allows people are very open-minded and I really wanted to make sure my sims can woohoo in a jacuzzi if they want to <laughs> um, but I did like uh, try to hide the area a little bit and get, give them at least some privacy you know <laughs> and later when we put up like a concert area over here this jacuzzi actually acts like some kind of a backstage thing where maybe band members would hang out you know I don't know uh, okay, so there we go with the furnishing. I really tried to close it up a little bit, although I have to say I'm gonna change it a bit later with some a bit more modern elements. Um, I was struggling with the bar as well. I couldn't find the right color to fit um, the counters that I'm using. Uh, I know there is a small bar that goes perfectly with these counters, but I just didn't like to have a small bar in here because it's supposed to be like everything is it's like over the top and cool and like so I, I really wanted to have a big bar <laughs> yeah by the way I am using uh, some stuff packs uh, obviously we are in the city so city living it is and also I think perfect patio and romantic garden stuff I'm not sure exactly but um, also I love putting like colorful chairs and everything uh, I feel like this gives you such a nice colorful vibe and also we're gonna yes delete that because it looks terrible <laughs> and here i see the noun signs i was like oh wait, wait a second maybe i could use some neon signs outside and like let's see how they look in, um, in the evening because this club is mostly gonna operate in the evening i hope <laughs> uh so that's where i'm trying this out and now we're oh yeah this is getting better like with the black paint here, you can really see the definition of this area. This is the bar, this is the black paint, and you know, it's, I don't know, black tiles, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go with some modern lighting, lightning, <laughs> and also a bohemian um, garage door. Like, I don't know why I used that, but I just thought it's nice. <laughs> um, Alright, some lights. 
Uh, okay, I feel like it's really difficult to zone um, such a huge area into like small areas. So I try to characterize this little, you know, sitting area. So this one is more, not modern, but more like uh, elegant, a little bit more clean, a little bit more bright. And then I use like uh, the rugs also to define the zoning area. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even making sense. I think I'm speaking too fast. I'm sorry. But yes, a different rug for each area. That's what I try to tell you. <laughs> also, the bar is getting its own rugs. And yeah, and here we have a joke box because of course it's gonna belong into a club like that or at least a rooftop. Also, I really like those plant um, walls or how should I say it? I feel like they can really be a great um, separator of the room. <laughs> Is it a separator? I don't know. They can really... Oh, divider, of course. They can be a great room divider, but not work as stiff as the half walls. So I really like them because of that. Here we're gonna do more uh, uh, relaxed, chill out area. More like colorful than the, the other one on the right. <laughs> and I'm gonna change the color of that soon, I hope. <laughs> because that white color is just like, boom, I'm here, I'm white. There we go, red. It's already more comfy and of course a different rug for this area and later we're also I'm also adding a bubble blower here because I totally forgot that we have bubble blowers I I was like oh no they need a bubble blower in the 17th club of course they need it oh and here I'm making um, makeout uh, areas like little makeups makeout sofas which are gonna be more like away from the whole happening but you know there, like, there are little corners where uh, lovebirds can go and hang out and have some privacy. <laughs> a lot of privacy here. <laughs> I mean, it's a huge rooftop. I would really like to have something like that in real life. Like, you know, where you can really, I don't know, go there and there and have different vibes on, to, like, on the same rooftop. I don't know, I really like that. And also those uh, decorative room dividers are nice. And I love how I use these uh, rugs to have like a dance area. <laughs> Alright, I had to skip something because it was just taking too long and so I didn't know how to create a stage, like a lifted platform where uh, Sims could actually perform. So instead I just used those like carpets with um, piano tiles to kind of show where the concerts are happening i mean this is like a pathway <laughs> to the concert which is gonna happen in the back and here you also have some karaoke machine like you can do all the skills here like there we go piano yeah we're putting this away because it's kind of big and it's not really helpful delete come on delete that's right all right it has a little bit of a festival vibe with those lights um, yeah, so that was that's the rooftop. It, basically, there are some new things coming up within the later like video. But yeah, if you're interested in what happens down below, uh, it's gonna be a great 70s club, like a disco club. So here it's more uh, hippie vibe, maybe not even hippie. I don't know, just like that kind of vibe, like colorful and um, a bit more relaxed and like chill area. But beneath, in the, in the lower floor, we're gonna have a nice disco uh, area. So yeah, check out the next video. I hope you liked it. I hope I wasn't traveling too much and skipping too much, but um, the video is just so long. I had to like divide it into two. And save your game, always save your game. <laughs> Okay, um, please subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>